All right, you guys, I'm going to try to show you how to properly edit the bitmap files inside of an if file. I've done a video on this before, and it was kind of not too clear. Now, what I'm going to basically show you is how to remove the shading of the file. Um, so let's just go ahead and load up the mod tool, and I'll show you why this doesn't work in the mod tool. Um, let's go ahead and open up the 76ers. I made a copy file for just for this video, so I don't screw up my original file. So what I'm talking about is this file right here. It's a bitmap file and what this does is it controls the shading of the seating and every other stadium part. Um, there's also a similar file to this um, in uh, for backboards and for other parts of the stadium too. So when you try to export this, as you'll see, it shows up as a DDS file. And it's it's just because the mod tool is expecting it to be a DDS file and not a bitmap file, even though it's recognizing it as a bitmap file. So I don't recommend using the mod tool for this. Instead, I recommend using the Jersey Editor from 2K10 Jersey Editor. So we can go ahead and open this up and head over to so oh, oh, boom. And this one is just a different setup of a texture editor. There's a 32-bit and 64-bit version of this. Um, so let's scroll down and see if we can't find our texture. There it is. So texture 57. So you just click on it to export it. Throw it on the desktop. We'll call it video uh, 2. <laughs> so here we go. We have this. We can go ahead and edit with GIMP. Now let's say we want to remove all of the shading. We just want to get rid of all of it. The way you're going to do that is you're going to make the entire file white. So we can just go ahead and press new, foreground color, delete the old one, go ahead, and we'll just overwrite. Now the settings this saved with um, are right here, but I don't know if this really matters because of the way I'm blanking it out. If you want to do a custom one, you might have to play with the settings a little bit more, but unfortunately I don't know the format that this bitmap file is in. Now, here's a one that I exported earlier, and we're going to hex edit them. That's fantastic, okay. So, the video bimp is the original file, and as you can see, this is the header of the file, these th first three lines. In the video two, you can see we have the same, but similar, a similar but different header. So what we need to do is bring this header over into the other file. So we can go ahead and copy that, go here, delete that, paste that. And then the next thing we need to check is make sure we have the same file length before we import it back in. 400636, 400036, fantastic. So we can go ahead and hit save on this, close it up, click and drag, whoop, just one into the uh, tool that says import textures into the jersey editor and that's it and now when you load this file up in game um, all the shading that's normally on like the banners and the stadium parts are all gone so that is the quote unquote best way to edit the bitmap files um, I mean it's a little bit finicky because now it doesn't want to load up as a valid bitmap file um, and it's a workaround way because we don't have a tool that properly edits these bitmap files and can import and export them properly even the 3dm tool can have issues with it so this is the way I got around it for when I was doing my beach court thing and I hope this helps anyone who wants to remove the shading if they're trying to do advanced editing stuff with the lighting in their arena so I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video